Hi folks, so this is Max from droidbionicroot.com So last time I had this thing uh, on how to get free Wi-Fi tether on your Droid Bionic but that was the first time I did it and I got a bunch of uh, trolls saying my I'm uh, stupid and all this stuff so I'm gonna do it again um, for all of you trolls out there um, Anyway, first you'll need a rooted, uh, rooted Motorola Droid Bionic and go to the market and go. Um, you have to go by the SQL Lite editor. I'll show you which one it is. Just type SQL I T E and buy that. It's like two ninety nine. It's definitely worth it if you can get free Wi Fi tethering. Uh, and then what we're gonna do? Oh, actually, you know what? Let me show you that uh, my Wi Fi mobile hotspot is not working right now. So when I do that and say OK okay and it's gonna check provisioning now with this hack it gets rid of that uh, provisioning hack see it says cannot be processed but we can get through that next what you're gonna do is uh, go open up SQL uh, light editor that you just bought or downloaded and installed and uh, you'll see you come up to this screen um, it'll, it'll, first time you run it it'll ask you for super user permissions hit allow and then if you go down uh, here's the tricky part there's two settings storage um, as you can see there you need the one with the mailbox the one with the com.motorola that one right there so I'm gonna press that and hit settings.db and hit settings and you're gonna go down to uh, 140, line 140 something 147 there's entitlement check and also USB entitlement check Make both of these to uh, zero, so that way you can tether Wi-Fi tether and USB tether for free. Um, hold down, edit field, change it to zero. Oop. All right, and the US, oh, no, the other one too. It's a little bit tricky, but you'll get it. You gotta press on the long press on the number, not the uh, actual the value of the. Uh, that see so I've got entitlement check is 0, 147 is 0 and 148 is 0 and uh, you want to reboot your phone and you should be able to get free Wi-Fi tether and USB tether too I haven't checked the USB but let's do it let me uh yeah let me power off and then I'll reboot and I'll be back so I reboot it. Uh, let's open up mobile hotspot app and uh, see if it works. So hit OK, and you should not be getting the error like before. Dude. So it's active. Configure. Um, set your password. And also, you might want to change the DHCP address uh, to something else. Change the number 42 to something else, anything between 1 and 254. So change it to um, like, I don't know, like 99.2. It's got to end in 2, by the way. All right. You got to change the star address. For some reason, it doesn't work with the default one. I found out. Okay, we start now. And it's restarting and let's go to our computer and see if we can get free tethering. So I'm going to switch to the Droid Bionic 6762, the one I just started. And it's in infra infrastructure mode, not ad hoc, um, for those of you who are wondering. And it might take you a couple tries, you might have to reboot your computer um, the first time you do it. Sometimes it doesn't work right away, uh, but it should. You should be able to connect to. See, I connected, but I don't have. It says limited access. Um, you can look at the status. It has no internet access here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to turn it off here and also disconnect and do this a couple times, and you should be able to get to it. So that should disappear. And let me. Let me do okay there. And I, I turned my uh, 
hotspot back on. I'm waiting it for to back on, and I'm going to connect disconnect from my home Wi-Fi and connect it to back to Verizon Droid Bionic Tether. And we need to get the full bars without the exclamation point um, in order for this to work. Um, hmm. So I got exclamation point. Um, nothing on. I'm not getting internet right now. So I'm just gonna try a different number. Sometimes it takes a while. Um, turn it off, and then let's switch it back to um, something else. Let's do. Uh, oh, let's turn it back on. And let's switch it to, let's ch change channel to 10 or something, 11. <laughs> and then let's do, um, let's do 5.5.2. Five I mean, that will work. All right, and then if you keep trying, you should be able to get it eventually. And I might restart my computer once more if it doesn't connect. Um, Uh, da, 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 da. So it should show up here in a second here. There we go. So it's connecting automatically. And uh, I know the first time you do it, it's kind of takes you a while, but you should be able to get it eventually. So it's still trying to connect. Um, I don't want to make this video too long. Oh, sorry. I was hiding my, my thing there. I'm going to try to uh, disconnect and then connect again. Oh, so I did it a bunch of times and it finally worked. Um, you should get this thing popped up. Choose public and then uh, I can show you that it's Verizon Droid Bionic 6762. And we can do a speed test real quick. And uh, it's super fast. Verizon Destroyed Bionic is so fast. I freaking love um, LTE. By the way, don't abuse this and tether your whole house with it. Then uh, surely Verizon will probably cancel your phone or contract. Um, the real purpose is that you, you just use it when you really need it. You know, like when I go to the mall or something. But don't use this as a replacement for uh, your home internet. If you're going to do that, just buy the... Um, the real tethering plants so you don't get kicked off because no matter what they can track you because every time you're using the Firefox browser or whatever browser it's gonna show up on their system and you know no matter how you try to hide it there's no way you can really hide the fact that you are tethering um, so if you don't abuse it they're not gonna do anything and you know they they can't really survive by firing you know not firing but you know, terminating every customer who's doing this. But the more more people who do it, uh, you know, the less they can do to stop it, or maybe they'll, you know, finally give free tethering, you know, without us having to hack it. Anyway, I've got six megabits per second download, 3.65 megabits per second upload. It's a little bit slower than on the phone itself, 